Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look into this very special BMW M6. It's a 2016 model equipped with the rare competition package, which aside from increasing output to 600 horsepower, along with a whole bunch of other upgrades, only 100 of these cars came to the United States, so they're a very uncommon sight. Not only that, but this one features a ton of upgrades by Dynan, which raises the output even more to an astonishing 708 horsepower. As always, in this review, I'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, take it on a thorough drive, and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on in, start her up, and let her run. Also, a special mention to Hendrick BMW in Charlotte, North Carolina for providing this opportunity today. For more information about the dealership, including contact info and current inventory, please feel free to check out their website provided in the description box below. So along with the smart key entry system, the M6 of course comes standard with push button ignition. To start, just make sure you have the key fob within the interior, then put your foot on the brake and hit the dash mounted button to go. Before diving into the M6 Competition Edition, we need to first go back to 2015, where BMW released the extremely limited 30th anniversary M5. When it came out, it was not only the most powerful M5 ever made, but it was also the most powerful production BMW up to that point. Building upon the competition package, which had been around for both the M5 and the M6 lineup since 2014, the 30th anniversary M5 came with even more power plus a slew of other upgrades and special appointments. The 2016 M6 Competition Edition was limited to 120 units worldwide, 100 of which were destined for the US. It includes the revised competition package, also introduced in 2016, that boosts power to match the 30th anniversary M5. Of course, it isn't all about power though, as a key focus of the competition package is placed on enhancing handling properties. Therefore, any M6 equipped as such, which is typically an $8,300 option, is treated to firmer tuning of the springs, dampers, anti-roll bars, and more, with an end goal of increasing stability and steering precision. The M6 Competition Edition was only offered in two exterior colors, Austin Yellow or Alpine White. With the latter, you also receive a unique stripe kit in the trademark BMW M colors, similar to what's seen on the M6 GT3 race car. Along with the kidney grille, the door handles and side gills are finished in gloss black to complement the shadow line side window trim. Every M6 coupe is fitted with a carbon fiber roof, allowing for a lower center of gravity, but in the competition edition, carbon fiber also makes up the mirror caps, rear spoiler, and rear diffuser. Aside from the subtle changes, the general styling of the competition edition remains the same as any other M6 coupe. Compared to a regular 6 series, an M6 features unique front and rear fascias, side skirts, and wider front fenders to accommodate its 1.2 inch wider track. To lessen weight, the hood and doors are made from aluminum, while the front fenders are molded from thermoplastic. The trunk lid is made from sheet molding compound, which is a glass fiber composite material. Pricing for the 2016 M6 Coupe began at $113,400, while the Competition Edition, which also included a voucher for the BMW Performance Driving School, commanded an additional $51,500. With a $995 destination fee and a $1,300 gas guzzler tax, the total MSRP came to $167,195. The M6 Competition Edition is equipped with pretty much every option and performance enhancing component the BMW offers, including a set of lightweight 20 inch forged alloys and high performance tires. The wheels measure 9.5 inches wide in front and 10.5 inches wide in the rear and are wrapped in 265 35 and 295 30 tires, respectively. 
Together with an M-specific chassis design, the M6 is able to corner at about 1G. Carbon ceramic disc brakes, which are typically a $9,250 option for the M6, are standard on the competition edition. They're able to bring the car to a stop from 60 miles an hour in about 116 feet, thanks to large 16.1 inch front discs with 6 piston fixed calipers and 15.6 inch rear discs with single piston floating calipers. You can always tell when carbon ceramics are fitted by the signature gold painted calipers. They provide even greater stopping power while shedding 42.8 pounds of unsprung weight over the M6's standard cast iron discs. The material also boasts superior heat and wear resistance. That means less chances of brake fade after repeated hard use on a track and greater longevity of the components. Direction is provided by BMW's Servotronic Rack and Pinion Power Steering. It's hydraulically assisted and features an electromagnetic valve to control the amount of force being applied based on your speed of travel. Therefore, the steering becomes more relaxed and comfortable at low speeds and more precise and direct at higher speeds. In a normal M6, the steering ratio is 13 to 1, while the competition edition is a tad more direct at 12.7 to 1. The M6 also benefits from a specially developed chassis and suspension to create the most dynamic 6 series you can buy. It begins with a double wishbone suspension in front and a multi-link design in the rear with unique axle kinematics and forged aluminum suspension components for added strength and reduced unsprung weight. The integral rear axle subframe is rigidly bolted to the body to maximize body rigidity while the reinforced chassis mountings at the front and rear axle ensure that the dynamic forces are passed through to the body structure. All M6s come standard with dynamic chassis control, which uses electrohydraulic damping force adjustment to adapt the behavior of the shock absorbers, firming them up or relaxing them on demand. There's three modes including Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus. You can also increase the powertrain response and steering weight via these drive modes. Two drivers can program their own default performance settings which can be instantly called upon when you press the M1 or M2 button on the steering wheel. With a curb weight of 4,250 pounds, the M6 Competition Edition is part sports car and part Grand Tourer. These split personalities create a unique offering that's not only well-mannered as a road car, but offers supercar levels of performance. The M6 is powered by a twin-turbocharged 4.4-liter V8 that produces 560 horsepower of 6,000 RPM and 500 pound-feet of torque between 1,500 and 5,750 RPM, leading to a 0-60 to 60 time of 4.1 seconds. The engine is constructed using aluminum for the block and heads and features dual overhead cams, 4 valves per cylinder, double Venos, variable valve timing, and valve tronic. The latter replaces the need for a traditional throttle body by individually controlling the intake valve lift on each cylinder. Fuel is delivered through a high pressure direct injection system and the compression ratio is rated at 10 to 1. Maximum engine speed is 7200 RPM. The twin scroll turbochargers, which normally develop 21.7 psi of boost, are nestled within the V of the engine and are driven by cross bank exhaust manifolds. This reverses the flow of gases through the engine and shortens the traveling distance to virtually eliminate turbo lag, leading to more immediate throttle response and linear power delivery over its flat torque curve. With a retuned ECU and even more boost, an M6 equipped with the competition package produces 600 horsepower at 6,250 RPM and 516 pound-feet of torque between 1,500 and 6,000 RPM. That knocks the 0-60 to 60 time down to just 3.8 seconds. However, adding in Dynan's Stage 2 Performance Tuner and Carbon Fiber Cold Air Induction System, this example is producing an incredible 708 horsepower and 651 pound-feet of torque. It does this without voiding the new car warranty and being emissions legal in all 50 states. The feeling that you get knowing just how much power is under your right foot is sensational. An active exhaust system with decorative carbon fiber tips simply adds icing to the cake. Top speed remains the same as a normal M6, electronically limited to 155 miles per hour, but as an option you can have it raised to 190 miles per hour. Power is harnessed by a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission with drive logic. It's an automatic by default, but you can also change gears manually by either the console shift lever or the steering wheel panels. The shift lever is M-specific and electronically controlled. 
Pushing it to the right allows you to toggle between automatic and manual shifting. On top of that, DriveLogic offers three shift programs to alter the way the transmission behaves by using the rocker switch behind the shift lever. In manual mode, shifts become quicker and more assertive in the two higher programs. In automatic mode, gears are held longer between shifts to promote quicker acceleration response when driving spiritedly. Regardless of the mode or program you have set, the transmission performs wonderfully. A perfect match for the performance this car is capable of. It's also impressively smooth in stop and go traffic. For maximum acceleration from a standstill, a launch control system is included. Torque delivery at the rear axle is controlled by an electronic multi-plate limited slip differential. Working in conjunction with the dynamic stability control system, it takes into account throttle position, the rotational speed of the wheels, and the yaw rate to optimize traction. The degree of lockup continuously varies between 0 and 100%, depending on what the car deems necessary. Response times are within a fraction of a second, leading to excellent stability, especially when accelerating through corners. Tipping the shift lever to the left puts the transmission in neutral, while left and up is reverse. Once in reverse, a rear view camera appears within the iDrive system. With additional cameras located all around the car, you can also enable a top down view. To the right of the shifter is another button with a camera icon. That brings up your front corner views that makes pulling into parking spaces a bit easier. EPA fuel economy estimates range between 14 miles per gallon in the city and 20 miles per gallon on the highway. Expected average is around 16 miles per gallon. Brake energy regeneration and auto start stop technologies are included to improve efficiency. The M6 runs on premium fuel with a total capacity of 21.1 gallons. The M6's interior uses only the finest materials and features exceptional build quality. Fine grain black merino leather upholstery wraps just about every surface with contrast stitching that's matched to your exterior color choice, either white or yellow. The door, dash, and center console trim, along with the gear selector and steering wheel spokes are all made from carbon fiber, giving the interior a modern motorsports vibe. The subtle touches of aluminum detailing is another nice touch. Distinguishing the competition edition are special door sills and lettering on the cup holder lid. The steering wheel is wrapped in Alcantara with the BMW M tricolor stitching and a 12 o'clock marker finished in blue leather. 20-way multi-contour front seats are standard, they're immensely comfortable and provide a ton of lateral support. They're also heated and cooled with perforated midsections. In addition to your typical seating adjustments, 4-way lumbar, powered thigh support, 2-person memory, and active massage are all included. You're also able to firm or relax the side bolsters depending on how snug you want to be, and change the angle of the backrest. Along with a vertically adjusting headrest, the cushion can actually be brought out to cradle your head for added support. The steering wheel power adjusts for tilt and reach and comes heated. What I really like about this interior design is that it's very elegant and driver focused. The infotainment system and center stack are tilted slightly towards the driver and everything is within easy reach. The right side of the dash gently flows into the center console and integrates the iDrive controller. There's plenty of storage too. Along with door pockets and a generous center console that also houses your media inputs, there's two cup holders, a small compartment right behind the iDrive controller, and a storage net to the right side of the center console. There's also a large glove box that's lined in felt, illuminated, and has an auxiliary pocket up top to stow some smaller items. Standard safety features include front, side, and head curtain airbags for the front and rear. With the optional driver assistance plus package, a lot of additional electronic safety features are added including lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, and more. It's all standard on the competition edition. The M6's optional executive package is also included as standard equipment. With it, you get the active massage feature, heated steering wheel, and cooled front seats. In addition to a heads-up display, a power rear sunshade, and an incredible banging Allison surround sound system. There's 16 speakers in total, developing 1200 watts of power, including a mid-range speaker that rises up from the middle of the dash. The iDrive system is super simple to use. There's a rotary dial in the center console that you can also tip forward, backward, left, and right to go between the different menus and submenus. There's a lot of shortcut keys located all the way around for the main features, as well as a touchpad on top for written commands like with the navigation system. The screen spans 10.2 inches and features high-res graphics. Everything is logically organized, leading to intuitive operation.
Climbing into the back seat is straightforward, just grab a handle on the upper backrest, tip it forward, then use the button to slide it up. There's not a lot of space back there, so really the only people that will have the chance to are smaller individuals and that still may be for more temporary use. If you can sit back there, it is pretty comfortable. The seats are dished out nice and low, there's good lateral support, adjustable headrests, and leather galore. So now let's go ahead and see if she sounds. Let's go ahead and shut her down. Next, we'll head towards the rear and check out trunk space. The trunk lid isn't powered, but it's effortless to open. Hit the button on the fob or within the interior, and it's counterbalanced perfectly to go ahead and swing up all the way. The BMW emblem also doubles as a trunk lid handle. In total, there's 13 cubic feet of cargo space, along with some cargo tie-downs and LED illumination, there's also a trunk pass-through that you can fold down in between the rear seat to stick some longer items like skis and poles. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at this very unique BMW M6. Be sure to stay tuned next time, leave a like and subscribe today, there's always a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.